Welcome to a video on how to get good at the park ranger. Perhaps the most interesting concept of a soldier in the game. Players who are able to master this skunk master will be able to exploit more AFKs than the number of lawsuits associated with the pink sauce. Let's get started. The park ranger, not to be confused with the one in a day at the park, is a variant of the soldier class who uses the power of nature and skunks to harass and dispel enemies. Their primary weapon is that of a rapid fire skunk stink launcher that uses the bowel system of an incredibly stinky skunk who just finished having a six course meal at Taco Bell. The weapon fires at 350 rounds per minute and has 18 ammo per clip before needing to take a 2 second reload. Each shot fired can deal 8 damage for a normal hit and 9.6 for a critical hit. However, the weapon does have noticeably harsh drop off with it going down to 5 damage for a normal hit and 6 for a critical hit at mid range. This may seem like he has a relatively low damage output, but of course, this is only half the story since when the projectile hits a surface of any kind, a temporary damage cloud will spawn. These damage clouds have a small radius and will deal 2.5 damage every 0.75 seconds an enemy happens to exist in it. The clouds last up to 2 seconds once summoned. Luckily for you, these damage clouds are capable of stacking, which means that if you happen to find someone who is either AFK because their mum called for them to do the dishes, or in a rooted position such as P-Gatling or Sunbeam, then the damage output of the clouds will rack up extremely quickly, allowing you to blow through their health like it's absolutely nothing. So if your ZPG is on cooldown when you spot a rooted plant, then you're still in luck. The optimum upgrade setup for the park ranger would be the reload, cloud duration, and health regeneration upgrades, with the cloud duration upgrade being especially important as it allows more of your damage clouds to overlap which can increase your potential damage output against stationary enemies. In terms of strengths, the park ranger is great at making objectives difficult to capture due to his damage clouds as well as being able to handle stationary targets with relative ease. He also synergizes extremely well with ice variants due to their ability to slow down and freeze enemies, so if you happen to have a lot of them on your team you will be having a good time. However, much like Alien Flower and Toxic Citroen, the Park Ranger relies heavily on the lack of movement from his enemies, so when against highly mobile classes, or if no ice variants are on your team, then you will have a much harder time in taking advantage of your damage clouds since your raw damage output is rather pitiful and negligible. Thanks to this guide, you will now be the master of smelling like 106 and watch as enemies are forced to keep moving at all times at the mere thought of your presence. Be sure to come back for the next episode next week. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more shit like this. Have fun.